In this video, we're going to step through, after we've got the job manager installed, how we add a laser system uh, to the software suite. So, by the way, let me just get this out of the way, that the Epilogue Laser software suite is comprised of the Epilogue Job Manager and the Dashboard. All are somewhat one of the same under the umbrella of the software suite, but the Job Manager and the Dashboard are to technically different screens, but very similar. So we'll look at that more later. So once we have installed the job manager onto the computer, we'll open it up for the first time here and double click. So in other words, uh, this is the brand new screen of a first startup and it gives the version of the job manager up here. Uh, to get started, you'll need to add your laser system. I'm gonna preface this and say if you click add a laser you have the opportunity to have the software go out and automatically find a laser on your uh, on your connected network or USB or however it's connected to the computer or you can do it manually so let's go ahead and move forward from here add a laser so you can see right away the machine that I have turned on in my facility is one that it found here or I can add it manually for technical support purposes, I'm going to add that there have been cases where even though I select this and it's got the right numbers, that maybe some of the data doesn't come all the way in with the installation. If you choose to automatic, have the laser automatically picked up by this icon here, then if you go to your material settings tab or your job settings so forth and it's blank yeah, I'm sorry only in your material settings tab if it's blank then I would recommend just backing out removing that laser system and installing it manually let me do it the automatic way and we'll see how far we can get so we'll choose this unit and this is the actual name I'll give it, 36 Pro 60 Watt Laser. And we'll say Finish. And I have another computer that's already connected to that, so I'm going to tell that, yes, go ahead and disconnect that other computer. And this is uh, somewhat of a blessing and a curse. If you have multiple computers on the network and the lasers are connected, you might have a computer that has grabbed the connection. In other words, just real quickly, if you have a software set up on a one particular PC and you can't get the X to go away on the camera, it's quite possible that the um, network has a computer on it that's grabbed the connection and has not let go. So keep that in mind. So yes, we're going to tell it to disconnect that other uh, computer from the laser. So after I've selected yes, and if all the IP addresses and connections are correct, then it will go ahead and allow us to see that in video form. So this is the dashboard, so to speak, the entry-level dashboard. Let's go ahead and maximize this screen here. And so I'm going to click on Job Manager and open up the Job Manager here. Once the job manager is open, this is kind of your default screen. Let's maximize that. And a couple of things you want to look at, if you've chosen to have the system automatically be picked up through the software, um, I have seen cases to where it got these uh, identifiers, what wattage and the name. If you see X's or just something weird there, then that's probably an indication that not all of the information came over. So. Didn't mean to spend too much time on that tech support tip, but in fact, we probably what we'll do is we'll go ahead and go to our laser systems tab at the top. That's the one that's highlighted, and we can delete or remove that here. So I'm going to go ahead and tell it to delete, and we'll say yes, and it's going to delete everything that's connected with it. So we're going to add a laser system manually. Not that the other one didn't work; it would have worked, but. We want to step through this manually, so we're going to say manual add. It's already told me I've got a 2.231 IP address, so I'm going to choose Fusion Pro. It's a Pro 36. It is a 60 watt, no fiber laser installed. And we said that we picked up on the 2.231 address. 
Serial number is optional. I'll skip that here, but it's probably pretty handy at some point to key that in. And then we'll say next. And we'll give this a machine name. Let's just call it Fusion Pro 3660 watt. And finish. So we're going to end up with the same result. However, I will say one thing I notice is if I let the software automatically go pick up that laser, it did go ahead and put that serial number in here, which could be handy if you have to provide that in an email to tech support. You can just swipe it, copy it into the email and so forth. Uh, otherwise, the serial number for every machine is available for display on the touch screen by just going to the gear and you'll see the, all the information there. So that encapsulates a short video on taking the time to install a particular laser system and the steps to do that and get that into the laser systems tab. Uh, before we move on, we'll just identify a couple of things. The jobs menu should be empty. We haven't sent any jobs to it here. The material settings tab. This is what I was referring to earlier is that if you let it automatically pick that up and for whatever hiccup reason, uh, you might see this blank, or maybe it only picked up a couple of the material settings from the database. Then that would be an indication you probably just want to delete what it automatically picked up and then manually install that. Uh, however, I want to point out that all of the E logos here are uh, showing that these are specific items. So each of these are an item, and then it's under the acrylic subfolder or acrylic category and operators can create as many categories and items in this as they wish but these with the E are the ones that were installed from the Epilogue Laser software suite. Furthermore the job settings tab we'll go into detail in another video later but the job settings tab will be blank because these are specific settings that match your specific jobs processes that you want to create for your specific needs on your machine and your operation. But for now, that's the way it ought to go. Laser system gets installed. The jobs tab should be blank. The camera should be have no X over the top of it if it's connected well. Uh, and then the material settings tab, and then nothing in the job settings. Furthermore, if you click on the gear, that will show the display tab, the dashboard, the job manager, alerts in the database and this is where you back up the database restore the database so if I was going to restore the database uh, maybe after one that was backed up um, then I could choose that and that would let me go find that file and then that would bring that database back in so if this is a new PC and you want to restore an old database or a different database from a different computer you can do that through the gear and then the database tab I will often recommend after I've gone on site to an installation, once I've gotten this far, I'll go ahead and have the operator choose the gear and go to the database and back that database up. And with the backup of this database, we'll just call this uh, test install and choose save. We don't need to uh, compress that at all, no. But what that does is, even if the computer died right now, we could have that backup used for a new installation at any moment. So it's always good to get a brand new, fresh, maybe data, uh, database backed up. So before you go filling it with all the jobs, that you've kind of got a default place to start. So we'll close that, and we'll go back to our job manager. And then once that's opened in review, those are our four tabs. So that will complete this video for installing or setting up a machine on the job manager.